The Nikon Z90 is quickly becoming a hot topic in the photography world, even though it has not yet been officially announced. Speculation suggests it could be Nikon's next flagship APS-C mirrorless camera, and possibly a spiritual successor to the beloved Nikon D500. Some are even calling it the Baby Z9, a nickname Nikon previously used for the Z8. If the rumors are true, the Z90 will feature a 33 megapixel DX manual sensor, placing it in direct competition with the Canon EOR7. While Nikon has seen great success in the full frame mirrorless market with the Z8 and Z9, its APS-C lineup has been limited to entry-level and mid-range models like the Z50 and ZF-C. A high-performance APS-C camera like the Z90 would fill a crucial gap, especially for sports and wildlife photographers who benefit from the extra reach of a crop sensor. The rumored 33-megapixel sensor would make the Z90 one of Nikon's most powerful APS-C cameras to date, offering impressive detail and resolution. In the video department, it's expected to support 4K at 60 frames per second recording with oversampling, ensuring sharp and high quality footage, full HD recording at 120 frames per second, or possibly even 180, could also be available, which would appeal to slow motion videographers. If these specs hold true, the Z90 could be a true hybrid camera, appealing to both serious photographers and content creators. A rumored burst shooting speed of 15 frames per second would be a major draw for action and wildlife shooters. However, it remains to be seen whether this applies to the mechanical shutter only or includes electronic shutter capabilities as well. If Nikon can match the Canon R7's 30 frames per second electronic burst, it could be a serious contender. One standout feature may be in-body image stabilization, rumored to offer up to six stops of compensation. This would give the Z90 a key advantage over the Canon R7, which lacks in-body stabilization. Improved handheld shooting, especially in low-light situations, would be a significant benefit for field photographers. The camera is also expected to include a 3.2-inch tilting touchscreen, though it's still unclear whether Nikon will opt for a fully articulating display. A tilting screen is often preferred by photographers who shoot stills, while a flip-out screen is more versatile for vloggers and video creators. If Nikon sticks with a tilt-only design, it could indicate a stronger focus on photography over video. In terms of storage, the Z90 is rumored to feature dual card slots, one CF Express Type B and one standard SD card. This setup offers both speed and flexibility. There's also speculation about the use of a stacked sensor. This technology, seen in models like the Fujifilm X-H2 SS and the OM system OML own, offers faster readout speeds, reducing rolling shutter and enhancing burst performance. However, since the Canon R7 uses a non-stacked sensor, Nikon might opt for a more traditional design to keep costs down. Currently, the Canon EOS R7 dominates the enthusiast-level APS-C mirrorless market with a 32.5 megapixel sensor, strong autofocus, and fast burst shooting. To compete, the Z90 will need to match or exceed these capabilities. Nikon's proven autofocus system, refined in the Z8 and Z9, could give it an edge in subject tracking and responsiveness. If Nikon delivers on these rumored features, a high resolution sensor, fast burst speeds, in-body stabilization, and dual card slots, the Z90 could become the go-to choice for wildlife and sports photographers who want professional performance without the size and cost of a full-frame body. There's no official release date yet, but reports suggest Nikon is already testing Z-mount APS-C prototypes in the field. If market demand is any indication, a Z90 launch could happen as early as 2025. While we wait for confirmation, one thing is clear, Nikon fans have a lot to look forward to.
Stay tuned and consider subscribing for more updates on the Z90 and other upcoming gear. Meanwhile, the Nikon Z73 is also expected to make a major impact in the mirrorless camera market. As the successor to the Z7 Mark II, this camera is rumored to deliver high-resolution imaging, advanced autofocus and powerful video capabilities. With increasing competition from Sony and Canon, Nikon is aiming to create a camera that excels in detail, speed and versatility. One of the biggest highlights of the Nikon Z73 is its sensor. While some speculate about a 67 megapixel sensor from Tower Jazz, it's more likely to feature a 61 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor from Sony. This would place it in direct competition with the Sony Alpha 7R Mark V, offering exceptional detail and dynamic range. A high resolution sensor like this is ideal for landscape, studio, and commercial photographers who demand the uh, combined with Nikon's renowned color science and improved image processing, the Z73 is expected to deliver stunning image quality. Autofocus has been a major area of focus for Nikon in recent years, and the Z73 is rumored to include a 493-point phase detection autofocus system. With AI-driven subject detection and tracking, it will likely offer fast and accurate focus performance across a wide range of situations. These improvements will be especially beneficial for wildlife and sports photographers. In-body image stabilization is also expected to see a major upgrade. The Z73 may improve from five stops to eight stops of stabilization, offering greater handheld performance this would be especially helpful in low-light environments and when using telephoto lenses. If Nikon integrates focus point VR, as seen in the ZF, it could further improve stability with long lenses. Under the hood, the camera is expected to be powered by dual EX Speed 7 processors. This upgrade would significantly enhance image processing, noise reduction, and overall performance. It will also enable better handling of high-resolution files, faster burst shooting, and improved video capabilities. Burst shooting is rumored to reach up to 20 frames per second, a substantial improvement over the Z7 Mark II. For photographers capturing fast-moving subjects, this could be a game-changer. Video performance is shaping up to be one of the Z73's standout features. Unlike its predecessors, which focused more on stills, this model is expected to offer true hybrid capabilities. It may support 8K video at 30 frames per second with a crop, 6K full sensor readout, and 4K at 120 frames per second. There's also talk of 12-bit NRAW internal recording, which would provide more flexibility in post-production. If Nikon applies the same effective heat management, seen in the Z8 and Z9, overheating should not be a concern. These advanced video features could make the Z73 a strong rival to the Canon EOS R5, which has faced issues with overheating in 8K recording. In terms of build, the camera is expected to retain a magnesium alloy body with enhanced weather sealing, making it reliable for outdoor work. It will also include a 3.2-inch, 4-axis tilting touchscreen, providing flexibility for composing shots. The electronic viewfinder is rumored to offer 5.76 million dots and 4,000 night brightness, ensuring a clear and bright display in all lighting conditions. The expected release window for the Z73 is between August and November of 2025, the camera is anticipated to launch at a price between $3,500 and $3,800 US dollars. This represents a potential price increase over the Z7 Mark II, but keeps it below the Z8, which offers professional features around the $4,000 mark. If Nikon can position it correctly, the Z73 could attract a wide range of photographers who prioritize image quality and resolution. The Nikon Z73 is shaping up to be one of the most exciting releases in the mirrorless world. With a potential 61-megapixel sensor, 
enhanced in-body stabilization, AI-driven autofocus, and robust video features, it may become Nikon's most advanced high-resolution hybrid camera to date. Whether it lives up to the hype remains to be seen, but for now, there's plenty for photographers and videographers to be excited about.